Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, your spiritual advice here is coming out for the love portion, so I'm going to talk about this first, okay? We have here the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is almost like looking at a space, uh, looking at a situation from a space of higher wisdom, tolerance, as well as uh, intuition. So this is a card about a revelation. She's unveiling something. She's coming across some information and she's using her intuition as a guide to tell her what to do. And she needs to also always listen to her intuition. Um, when it comes to this deck, this is a... Um, when it comes to this deck, this is um, an image of somebody that has a lot of wisdom, has a lot of insights into human characters, and it's also somebody that is a little bit on the colder end. They're hard to reach. They're hard to read. People don't um, immediately recognize what it is that you're trying to say, what it is that you're trying to communicate, or what it is that you're thinking. So a lot of the times, they have trouble reading you. They have trouble understanding your intentions. And I feel like this is a week for you to be very careful about your communication with significant others, with your crush, with your love interest, mainly because uh, that, that veil is covered. So it's like they might not, you might think that you're making a joke but they might not think so. And as a result of it, they might get offended, they might get hurt. And it leads here to this situation, the Five of Swords, where harsh words are being exchanged, where there is conflict, where there is argument, where two people cannot see eye to eye. This is the energy of your partner or your love interest. I have a sword, very strong sword energy, so you might be dealing with like another air sign where the two of you are very, very similar. However, the communication itself and because, you know, if it's, um, I feel like this is, it's not so much the, the actual communication, but it's more the intentions behind it. They don't really know your intentions or the two of you are at a point where the communication is not flowing really well. One person says this, but they're only revealing half of the story. And then the other person, um, misinterprets and thinks it's something else. So, so coordinating, um, expectations for one another that's going to be a huge problem and it's really important for you both to spell things out so I feel like you're in a situation where there is a lot of tension it could be sexual in nature that's what I'm feeling because this woman she's so detached and if your partner or your love interest feels that you're withdrawing or you are detaching it's gonna lead to this where they feel like you know they're operating from a space where they pick fights the two of you bicker a lot more or they are uh, or they might say like make offhanded remarks to kind of get a rise out of you to kind of um, uh, get something going mainly because they don't know how you feel and they might have to revert or resort to this type of tactic just to get an emotional response out of you what I do feel though for those in committed relationships you are going to be able to sail away from this okay this is a card about overcoming difficulties when it comes to um, hurtful things, when it comes to communication, when it comes overall to relinquishing and letting go of the pains from our past so that we can move away from that and come to a calmer state of mind, to a calmer state of communication. So for those of you in uh, committed relationships, if there has been bickering, you're going to overcome it and you're going to reach a space of stability. You're going to be reaching this space where the two of you solidify your relationship. This is the card about the Hierophant and um, it usually denotes, you know, a commitment, a situation where um, the other person is going to be more understanding. They're going to be more um they're going to be more stable. They're going to be a lot more dependable. Okay, so this is a card of Taurus for those of you dealing with Taurian energy. They're going to be there for you. And I feel it's as if these two cards, Major Arcana cards, you might be dealing, I'm getting a very strong Virgo, a very strong Pisces, as well as um, Taurian energy here with both of these cards. And so if you're dealing with those um, signs. I do feel like, you know, uh, this is a really good match here.
the high priestess and the hierophant you and your partner have a lot of things going on so if you're like this you have many many people at your door you have a lot of projects that you're working on and this person they might be very intelligent they are handling you know like really important um i, I feel like the word I'm getting is uh, classified information, classified documents, okay? Um, this is also a card of a student, somebody who's in school, somebody who's learning, somebody who's also a teacher, and somebody who is coaching, teaching, mentoring. So the two of you, I feel, is um, you're, you're both advancing and you both are learning. But because both of these cards show up and the vibe is so similar, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is incredibly, incredibly stubborn. Okay, they might not be a fixed sign like the Leos, Taurus, another Aquarius, or um, what's the last, uh, the Scorpio people. However, one person all wants to be the teacher and the other and expects the other person to learn. So it could be them wanting to, you know, be play the role of a teacher. And so I feel like if there has been a lot of conflict, it's because of ego clashes. And you know, you are a very independent sign. You're very independent when it comes to your ideas. You don't like other people to impose their ideas on you or their ideologies on you. And so you might be um, butting heads with them. And so this is the week where I see your energy kind of softening up, where you're unveiling yourself. You're being a lot more receptive to the way that pe this person shows love and shows affection. And I feel like a lot of it, the, the catalyst that allows the two of you to do that is the Ace of Swords. This is truth, communication, revealing how you really feel and allowing the other person to kind of be themselves. If they feel like they want to, you know, um, be the teacher in the relationship, if they feel like they have a lot of insights, a lot of things that they can offer you, maybe there is some truth to that. So maybe, you know, letting them talk, maybe just letting them be, maybe giving them space, and maybe just having that breakthrough in communication so that the two of you can share and really I see a major thing here about you needing to communicate from the heart needing to as well not be so harsh with communication so toning it down a little bit and um they're they're saying baby talk and i know that sounds so weird for an aquarius i can't even imagine but they're saying like baby talk okay with the sword energy um i feel as if it's saying here you know really pick your battles if it's not worth it don't fight over it because you guys can get really uh bogged down when it comes to like you know if you're if there are disagreements in certain ideas you want to get to the bottom of it you want to resolve uh discrepancies you want the other person to to come to your way of doing things or believing in certain ideas and if the other person's really stubborn stubborn the more you know you push the more or they resist and so I feel like you've finally met your match and so the only way for this to work is if you openly honestly communicate communicate your needs communicate your expectations and I feel like the other person they're so dependable this uh, here a font here they're very dependable so they're going to you know do whatever it takes to make you happy um, singles and dating this is a really good card overall where you're going to be communicating with with your crush or somebody that um, I feel like you might initially find them kind of boring initially. OK, you might find them initially kind of boring and uh, they, they might rub you the wrong way at first because they're kind of abrasive. And then gradually you get to know them and you get to know to see this really patient enduring side of them that loves to read that loves to have their alone time they're quite independent and they're just um, a pillar of strength and stability and morality as well so whatever you thought was really annoying about them you might you know find them quite endearing and quite attractive and you might be really really drawn to them and I think a lot of it is happening because of uh, really great communication 
uh, between the two of you. So if there has been tension, I feel like it's de-escalating and it's leading to some major communication breakthrough. So there's going to be a lot of talks with relationship partner, crushes, etc. for this week. Um, really take the time to kind of open it, uh, yourself up because if it's just mental energy, um, that doesn't really lead to anything. So make sure, you know, you speak from the heart chakra to talk about your dreams, your wishes, your desires, your expectation for the other person, what it is that you really want out of a partner. Okay. Um, the other areas of your life, uh, first of all, I have here the two of pentacles. This is one of the first cards that jumped out. So the two of pentacles, this is like making decisions weighing the pros and the cons of the decision and i feel for many of you you're doing this on the job okay should i waste my time with this client is it going to be like a sure thing or should i you know just cut my losses and work on another account should i reject this offer or should i you know uh take up this offer so i feel as if many of you are at a job where you where you are the one that gets to decide and whatever you decide on is almost like very very big and it could affect somebody's um, livelihood so you're making really really um, difficult decisions and a lot of the times Aquarius you see things in a very black or white type of a way if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. And that's the nature of fixed signs. They have very, very strong likes and dislikes, and they have very strong opinions. And I feel like this is the month, uh, this is the week where early on in the week, you might feel like, you know, oh, this situation is kind of fishy. Let me go and, um, you know, interrogate the other person. Let me get to the bottom of it. Let me, you know, just um, give them a piece of my mind so that they f they don't feel like they pull the wool over my eyes. Like I'm no fool. I want to assert myself and I also want to, you know, uh, let them know that, that I know what they're up to. So I feel like there is some sneaky behavior here in your work environment and I feel like you want to charge in and you want to fix the situation and in the process of doing that I feel like things start to ravel and then you find yourself in this state where you're just like I'm not really sure I'm not really sure if um, what I thought initially is really the reality and so you have to go back and redo and you have to ask for more information you have to um, elicit more, more um, concrete details from somebody. You have to come in and ask for more, like, um, tell me exactly what happened and give me more details. How did you feel? What exactly happened after that? So getting things in chronological order. So I feel like what you thought you know is definitely not, it's not that it's not the reality, but it might not be the right thing. And so you find yourself in a space where you are confused. You feel like you can't really make a decision and you need more information. And so you ask for information and then you kind of weigh it out. And I feel like for many of you, it's a very deep emotional um, type of a decision that can really affect, you know, not only your finances, but also your emotional state. And I feel like for some of you, this is a situation where you are deciding uh, the fate of somebody. So you have some big responsibilities coming in. I also feel as well, somebody is giving you some options. Somebody's giving you some choices. Do you want to do this or do you want to do that? And none of these choices are like, you know, ideal. And so the advice here is for you to ask more questions, ask them to clarify and think fast on your toes and ask them, okay, if I do this, what does that entail? Five months down the line, what does that entail? So really come, if you're not ready to have this conversation, wait it out. Just tell them, you know, oh, um, I have a lot on my plate right now. Can we um, do this tomorrow? And then when you go home, you know, plan out your course of action, plan out the questions that you're going to be asking because I feel like there's some major decisions to be had about your future 
and or somebody else's future and it's it's big decisions and it, it needs to be you know weighed out very very thoroughly and very carefully and so because it's, it seems like, you know, if you're seeing things like in a very binary way, like yes or no, right or wrong, black or white, um, do I like it or don't I like it? It's not going to be enough. There are a lot of nuances here and you have to be very careful about how you handle it. The whole, both of these spreads are echoing the same theme, which is that you need to be very clear and succinct with your communication. There's a lot more to the story. There's a lot more behind the scenes that, and, and the inner workings and the nuances that you're not aware of. So if you were to jump the gun and rush right in, you're going to be at a loss for words because things are going to confuse you. So if you're not ready to have that conversation, if you're not ready because you feel like you don't have all the facts, put a stop to it and just tell your love interest or whoever it is, you know, that you're dealing with. Um, I'm going to take a step away from this. Let us resume this conversation tomorrow and then come to it tomorrow prepared with your list of questions. Okay. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. I do wish you all the best. Okay. Take care.